Uh, okay, folks, so I know a few people obviously like to tweak their stream and take it up a level. Uh, the program I've came across is a program called Streamabot. I'll put some links in the description of where you can find it and where to download it. And I just wanted to give you some examples of the power that it enables you as a streamer slash content creator. And just to, yeah, get your creative mind going about things that can be done um, with a tool such as streamerbot <clears throat> for a while i've seen people do quite a lot of interesting things on their stream such as say when a user is timed out there might be a gunshot noise there might be a, a keck w you know something might fly up on screen and taking away the pressure of doing something yourself with like an elgato uh, deck and having to press the button yourself it just makes it more easier if things are automated so at times when i would stream somebody might do something and i might load up an audio clip or i might press something or somebody might subscribe and i might turn on a celebration or something like that and i was looking for ways to automate the system get it going so if we jump in here <clears throat> and uh, just bring this right down and you can have a look at the program itself now the program itself connects currently to apis such as twitch youtube maybe kick in the future and what it does is it allows you to set up a ton of commands um very complicated but there are some simple ones now what you can do is you can go you can go into a command for example, let's say sound requests, and you can right click and add. You can then call the command, let's say uh, for a silly one, a fart. And you're gonna say, right, command, da, 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 who's this available to? I just want my subscribers to be able to do this or I want everybody to be able to do it. Um, I want it to come through as in a Twitch message or when somebody resubscribes or whatever it might be, right? So you create the command. Once you've created the command, um, you'll see it here for demonstration purposes, right? I'll end up deleting it, but then you'll go into actions and you'll, you'll make a new action and you'll call this, say, name it fart. And you might say, uh, okay, right. This is what I want to happen. And you're going to go into the sub action. And there's a load of little things here that this, um, tool allows you to do. You can make it press a certain thing on your stream deck. You can have something happen with Discord. You can have different settings happen. You can have things happen inside of OBS. Um, you can even code if you know how to code. You can have stuff happen to your own network, all kinds of stuff. Simple one, sound. Play sound from a folder. So you can say, right, I want this to go ahead and play a specific sound from a folder. Um, so let's say, <clears throat> um, which I've set up as an example, let's say somebody goes and they redeem, uh, what should we, what should we do? Snake. Let's say snake. Let's say I'm in a video game. Somebody's dying and to get a bit of interactivity going on in your chat, somebody might go in the chat room <clears throat> and just type in snake and you will hear the snake noise. Um, play and also a command from a, a meme from way back in the day shout out to anybody who knows what that meme is the ogs so there's stuff you can do to liven up your stream people can join in now there are also things that are useful so you could have this command only enabled to your moderators or people you trust so let's say for example you're on let's say full screen webcam and you're chatting away and you're thinking to yourself, oh man, I'm, I'm playing really well in this game. You don't realize you're on the wrong screen. If somebody types exclamation mark screen, they can control my OBS and my screen will change through Twitch chat. And the way this is done, as you can see what I've got here is um, if we search by name, we should have screen somewhere uh exclamation mark screen we've got an i think it's a it's an action and effectively it's a bit difficult because i've got that many going on here uh well i can demonstrate it for you you're basically gonna go ahead and you're gonna and you're gonna say um oh i wonder if i can just type in here 
Right, screen. So screen is a basic command that I've set up. Anyone's allowed to use this that are a moderator, a subscriber, or a VIP. So somebody that I trust. When you go into the actions, um, you should see main screen. Um, this, when you look at it, is saying this is a main screen and the command that's tied to it, the trigger, so what makes this thing happen is exclamation mark screen. You can see all of your commands. Then in the sub actions, I've gone into OBS and I've gone into scenes. And what this has done is I've basically said, um, hey, when, when I'm in OBS and somebody types exclamation mark screen, it's going to jump to a, a, a scene that I choose. So my main screen. So that's how you can control that. It gives you a lot of options. You can do fun things. So there's a command that you can import. Um, you would go to file import string. These are available on the internet if you look them up and you import the string and it gives you a command. And this command was called um, <clears throat> Elgato Lighting. So this is obviously to maybe somebody wants to, when they donate, maybe the lights around you all turn red if you've got some fancy lights something like that i decided to do something a bit different so i decided um <clears throat> i went on my app on my phone my elgato light and i got the ip address of the the elgato light that i was connected to and what i did was i said when somebody plays the action flashbang it's going to go ahead and it's going to play from a folder the csgo flashbang noise then it's going to delay and then it's going to execute the code, which looks for my IP. It finds the light, it turns it on and it goes from zero and there's a delay. So it syncs up with the audio. And after 2000 seconds, the brightness is going to go from zero. I'm going to copy that configuration and I'm going to make it go to a hundred brightness. And then I'm going to turn the light off. So now if somebody pays a little bit and I'm in the middle of a game and I'm about to make the, the clutch winning kill and I press flashbang, you will see I am flashbanged. And I think, you know, that's pretty entertaining. You can have a lot of things. You can have specific things such as flash. This is a command that when somebody redeems this, my keyboard is pressed. The, the letter F is literally played. So if you were to subscribe to me on Twitch, you would get a free opportunity to blow my flash. And I might be just about to make the game win in play. Bang, person flashes me into the enemy team and I'm dead. Okay, maybe use that one with caution. But there's some fun things you can do. Obviously, if you mute somebody, here's what I've done. So... <clears throat> Uh, if I zoom in a little bit, I think I've still got it all set up. It it might not it might not work, but we'll try. So I believe the command was mute, right? So if if the command I type in is mute, um, what should end up happening is uh, uh, effectively I don't know if that's the right command or or, or, or whatever it was, but um, my mic would be muted and you know obviously that's pretty funny because if you're on the you're in the middle of a rant. Somebody can just basically tell you to to sh to shut up, basically. Um, so here's what it would do: it would play the sound, shut up. It would then turn on a specific source. So the specific source um, is a picture, this picture here, this muted symbol. So you would redeem it. That picture would turn on. After nine seconds, th the picture would turn off, and my microphone would be switched back on um so there's some fun little things you can do um we'll see if it works here mute his mic shut up bitch <laughs> the thing should turn back on and i'm no longer muted so you can have a laugh you your subscribers can have a laugh shutting you up and stuff there's things you can do here like I say, somebody subscribes or gifts a set amount. We're going to, it's going to automatically change scene. A load of stuff's going to fly off. There's a lot of power here. There's a lot of fun to be had. Um, it, it livened up my stream. I ended up, like I say, sort of giving up streaming, but I figured I'd, I'd help you guys out. There's also clever commands um, such as 
replay. So I've got a replay buffer going on. And <clears throat> uh, you can see that if, if you go into the chat, uh, it's been months and months since I've streamed. So I don't know if this works, but I believe it was something along the lines of replay. I think it used to be replay. Let's see oh. that. It it's going to automatically replay. change scene. A load of stuff's going to fly off. There's a lot of power here. There's a lot of fun to be had. Um, it, it livened up my stream. I ended up, like I say, sort of giving up streaming, but I figured I'd, I'd help you guys out. There's also clever commands, um, such as replay. So I've got a replay. And so you can see what, what ends up happening is it captures a specific fragment of time. We've got <laughs> the mask playing. Let's see that in an instant replay. It switches scenes it pulls the video file from my computer that's just been recorded and gives you a replay. So you're in the middle of a sick FPS fight, MOBA game. You, you, you've just done an amazing drift around a track. Somebody wants to see it and they redeem the replay feature. You, they get a full replay um, straight to your straight from your computer you know so there's lots and lots of fun things as well as all of the silly sounds and everything like that there's a lot of power um i only know the basics um such as these kind of things turning on scenes but even that it makes your stream a lot more interesting a lot more fun um so <clears throat> i'm just putting it out there that there are opportunities to make your stream more fun um maybe i can do some specific tutorials if you're struggling a lot of it is self-explanatory a little bit a little bit tweak a little bit of tweaks to get it going um you can also have obviously commands to just shut off all noises so you can just turn on a cue to be like listen uh, if you want to maybe you've got on a stream deck you want to push a button that might just turn off all alerts because you want to say something serious. And then when you press it, all the alerts will come back on. Um, the stuff you can do. Um, <clears throat> so maybe that gives you some ideas, some some stuff that you're you're interested in. Obviously, you can make it say stuff like, you know, basic stuff like basic commands. But what this sort of does, this program, is it stops you needing thousands of different things you know you'll end up with stream labs to do your alerts then this thing to do your overlays and then da, 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 and it get you can do it all through here and it is a little bit complicated it does take some time to get used to but it's a very powerful tool it's completely free it's called streamerbot <clears throat> and just thought yeah i'd give some i guess you know how sometimes you're you're on your stream feels a bit repetitive you you want a bit of um you, you want to spice it up, not just for your viewers, but for yourself. Um, and this is a way that you can have a little bit of good fun. So um, maybe that helps you boys out. Um, if it did, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know. Thanks very much. Apologies if there was some double audio going on at the beginning. I had two microphones running. Um, I haven't streamed in like months, so I, haven't got it. I didn't have it set up. And I'm a lazy boy, so uh, I'm not going to re-record. <laughs> okay.